Hi guys, I'm Dee Dee Wills. I'm here today to give you a really quick tip on saving certain pages of a PDF. Uh, since we've been doing so much distance learning, one of the things that's nice to be able to do is to be able to send maybe a packet of um, printables home to a parent um, and not send all of the pages, right? We may not want to send the whole 100 pages. Maybe we just want to send five or six pages, not overwhelm anybody. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's say this is the file that you wanted to send home, but you didn't want to send every single page, right? So let me go ahead and show you. We're going to open this up and I'm going to get a page view. I'm going to be able to see multiple pages. Um, if you're not familiar with this, this is the way that you can open it up and get lots, uh, lots more views, just moving that over. Okay. So let's say I want to send home. I don't need to send home the directions because, um, you're going to be giving the directions, but you just want to send home a few printable pages. Maybe you want to send home that page. Maybe you want to send home that page. And I'm holding that control button down, selecting the pages that I want to send home. Okay. Let's see one more, maybe mm, that page. All right. So those are the ones I want to send home. Next, I'm going to hit this print button and I've already switched it, but normally I would have this on, this is my home printer, right? Normally that's what I would have. And I would hit print and it would start to come through um, here at home. But instead I want to change it to print, Microsoft print to PDF. And when I do that and I hit uh, print, you're going to go ahead and see that it's going to prompt me to save it. There we go. Now it's going to ask me to save it somewhere. So I could just say uh, student response pages. And now I can save it. And that PDF will only have those pages in it. When I open up student response pages, you'll be able to see that it only contains the pages that I selected. Okay. So there you go. There's your tip of the day. If you enjoyed this video and want to be notified the next time I post a video, make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell so that you'll be notified as soon as I post a new video. That's it. Have a great day.